Hey guys, in this video we're going to answer the question, what are we trying to do with descriptive statistics? So, it's a great question, and here I've just listed 12 marks on an exam. So maybe you're grabbing 12 classmates saying, hey, what did you get on your test? And you've recorded the 12 marks that they got. What we're trying to do with descriptive statistics is actually tell a story around these 12 marks. So it doesn't really help to list out 12 different exam marks. That doesn't give us an idea of how the entire class did or even really how this group did. But what we can do is we can take this data and summarize it in many different ways. So I'll say the first way we can do it is analyze or calculate. So we'll be able to use some math formulas and some statistics to actually tell a story around this sample of marks which we then could compare to maybe another class's marks or another group of 12 marks so that we can actually say, oh, is this one better than this one? Or is this one more spread out than this one? Um, actually, actually put some numbers around that story. Another way is we can produce some graphs or tables. This is really good for a visual way to analyze the data. So maybe, you know, with marks we can get some good calculations and actually analyze pretty well, but maybe it's not a quantitative or numerical uh, result that we're after, and something like a bar graph or a chart with the data listed would be much more beneficial. Um, so those two things are, you know, ways that we can sort of tell a better story about our set of data. Now next I want to talk about um, populations. versus samples. This will be a theme throughout the course and actually a really important theme throughout any statistics course. You have to know whether you're dealing with a population or a sample. So I wanted to find those first. The population is the entire group that you're interested in telling that story about, that descriptive story. So let's say an example, again we have a group of test marks here, let's say on your last test in this course we want to know how every student across Ryerson University did in this course. Okay? Great. The population there is the entire student body in QMS 102. Now, there's thousands of students taking this course. So, from a practical standpoint, if you're actually going around and asking everyone what their mark was in the course, that, that won't really happen. You're not ever going to be able to actually complete that survey. So what we do in statistics instead are we take samples. This is a sample right here, just 12 students from your class getting their mark. The reason we do that is because obviously it's much easier to survey 12 people than it is thousands. Um, and then we can do things like infer information about the overall population from our sample. So I'll say that one more time. We survey a small group of people, collect their data, analyze it, and then eventually we can infer information about the overall population. That's what we're trying to do. And this, you know, I've used academics as one example, but this happens everywhere in the news. Anytime you read a statistic in the paper, 70% of people believe this, or anytime, you know, there's election results or something like that, they're not surveying all 30 million people in Canada, they're taking a small group and then inferring from that group information about the overall population. So hopefully that sets a little bit of a foundation for descriptive statistics in general. We're trying to tell a, a story about a group of data so that we can compare that to another group and ultimately infer something about the larger population. Thanks so much.